Don't you hate it when you stop at a red light with no window tint and everyone starts pointing and laughing at you? Don't you despise having to deal with traditional window tint that keeps getting stuck to itself or even around you? Or hate it when you're trying to eat ice cream and it melts like the heater was on at a wax museum? Well if that's the case, then let me show you an easy simple alternative where you can go from this to this. Throw away that crappy old window tint and let's get started. This is the window tint that I'll be using, which sticks on by static only, no glue. It's made out of vinyl and it's been dyed to give it the specific tint percentage, also known as the darkness of the tint. It reduces glare and it's also removable and reusable. I'll show you that more in depth a little later. The roll is 24 inches wide and 6.5 and feet long. For my car and truck, I use two rolls per vehicle. For the car, I'll be using 20% tint, and for my truck, I use 5%. The lower the percentage, the darker the tint. Make sure to check with local laws to find out which percentage is allowed in your area. Now not totally necessary, but this will help out a bunch. This is actually a vinyl wrapping toolkit to help in wrapping cars with vinyl, but it can be used to install window tint to your windows. It comes with a squeegee, a razor blade which you definitely will need, and an assortment of specialized squeegees like this one here. It has a felt padding on it to squeeze out any air bubbles out of the tint. You can definitely just get away with a credit card and a soft cloth on one edge, and a sharp razor blade without having to buy a kit like this. If you like this kit that I use, I'll leave a link in the description box. Let me show you what this type of tint looks like and why I love it. First off, it's very easy to peel off the backing. Traditional tint can be a little tricky and you'll have to use two pieces of tape to get it off. This comes right off with no problem. Traditional tint has glue on it and it's prone to sticking to itself if you're not careful. Now I'm not knocking this type of tint. As long as you know what you're doing, it'll look fantastic and professional. But if you're not comfortable with using the type of tint with the glue, ball it up and let me show you the alternative. This is the vinyl tint and as you can see, you can press the sides together and it will not stick. There is no glue. The first step is to clean the inside of the window. This will make the installation process a whole lot easier. Any foreign material on the glass will show up on your tent and it will cause some unneeded frustration. Wipe it dry and let's go on to the next step. Grab the roll and get a rough estimate of the size of your window. You want about 4 inches past the sides. That way you can make small adjustments if needed. Cut it to the length with your razor blade. It's super easy to cut. Get a bottle of soapy water and soak the outside of the window. Peel off the backing and start on the long side of the window and just try to stick it on for now. Start to roll the tent toward the other side of the window. Make small adjustments to have the tent cover the glass on all sides. Grab your squeegee or credit card with a cloth on one side and start smoothing out the tent. Start from the middle and work your way around. You want it to be as smooth as possible because this will be the exact fit for the window on the inside. Grab a sharp knife or razor and start from one corner of the window. You're just following the contour of the glass. Be careful not to cut through any of the weather stripping. Wherever the glass ends, that's where your blade will follow. It's important to take your time to get the best outcome. That goes for anything you do. Once you're done cutting, go ahead and peel off the leftover tint. If you have some parts that didn't get cut through, just give them a quick swipe with your blade. Open the door and spray your soapy water all over the glass. This helps get all the air bubbles out. And if you didn't do this, it will be very difficult to make small adjustments and when scraping the tint on dry glass, you run the risk of creasing the tint. Remove the tint from the glass, trying to keep it from flying around. Hopefully it's not a windy day. Start from one side of the glass to get it stuck on and work your way across. Lower the window a bit so we can get the tint about a quarter of an inch from the edge. Just use your hands to push it up or down depending on the adjustments you need to make. Make any adjustments to the sides if necessary. Get your squeegee and start from the middle and work your way up. Get all those air bubbles out. Raise the window up and start from the middle and work your way down this time. If there's a little daylight showing on the bottom, feel free to make an adjustment and slide the tent down a bit. I'm going to use this other squeegee since it's a little bit flatter and it can get behind the weather stripping. Push the remaining tent down inside the door. When you're done with that, give it one more cleaning to get any remaining soapy water that's left behind off the window. Now no need to panic. For the first day or two, it'll look a little blurry, but I assure you, it'll go away. Here's an example on my truck. I use 5% tint here and it was blurry at first, but after a couple of days, and I guess with the sun, it helps smooth it all out. And now it's crystal clear. Here's an example on how easy it is to remove this. Just pick a corner and you can peel it right off. To put it back on right, just spray some soapy water, get your squeegee or card, and get the air bubbles out. This can be easily transferable to another vehicle, assuming the window is the same or smaller. And there you go, easy and simple to install and no messy glue to deal with like that traditional window tint. I hope I've inspired you to add some tint to your vehicle, especially in the Texas heat. No more being laughed at when stopping at a red light. Tent, so you can't see up in my window. And no more ice cream melting in your hands.
I'll leave you with another video that I think you'll enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the only channel in the world with DIY videos for your home, auto, homemade cooking, and the world-famous Texas sidewalk recipes. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.